Here come the Terps on the other side. Pass deflected in route, goes to Gill. Now Virginia looking to run. Pass from Anderson to Brogdon. He'll glide inside, lay it in with a right hand finger roll. And the Hoos strike first. It's two to nothing. So here comes Maryland on the other end. Lehman uncorks a three from the near wing. He leaves it short. Rebound right to Brogdon. He throws on the Jets. Takes off in transition all the way to the rack. He'll lay it in off the window. I thought he let it come more, which was very important um, in the Rutgers game. I think he was driving the pile a little bit and forcing, and I just thought he had a better pace. And we've talked about this before. It's, it's just there's a sweet spot you've got to get to of, of being assertive, running your offense as a team to score, as a player. I thought he had a nice balance tonight. I thought that was important as a team. We were better with that field tonight as well. Healthy's first foul tonight. Starts with the basketball now following that foul. It's the pass down low underneath. And this shot erased against the window by Justin Anderson. He's defended by Trimble there. Passes it on to Anderson. Steps back. Fires away from three. And he splashes the courts as Justin Anderson hits his first long one of the night. Mike Jones the last one with a shot clock winding down. Entry pass is intercepted by Toby. He feeds ahead to Brogdon. Virginia going the other way. Here's an underhand pass to Shayok who lays it in on the other end of the floor. Another fast break score for the Hoos who now lead 12 to 4. I told you I really thought we were locked in that first six, seven minutes, five minutes. I just, you know, you could see there wasn't any gaps. They were contesting shots. And then I thought we, with our foul trouble, we didn't play as effective. But our, our goal is always to just try to take away the lane, which we didn't do well, but really make them shoot contested shots and limit them as most as best possible to um, one shot. And to see only three offensive rebounds makes me smile because that's that's huge for us. Shayok has it on the other end of the floor now with a right-hand dribble sent top of the arc to Atkins. He sends near wing to Devin Hall. Hall passes to Gill between the rings. Gill attacks inside, sees the opening, draws the contact, banks the shot in, no whistle, but he'll take his points as Virginia stretches the lead to nine. So here's Wiley on the left wing, uncorks a three, that is up, and it is good. Smooth looking jumper there from the freshman. Top of the arc to Nolte, he'll feed Anderson. Anderson, a head pick defended by Nickens, takes it by him and then lays it in with a strong finger roll down the lane. Pass near wing right to Parentes, now out top to Brogdon. Brogdon squeezes off a three, and this time he buries it from straight away. So Malcolm Brogdon, seven points now, and the Hoos lead is back to ten. It's Parentes lobbing it underneath to who sends it down oh, on a beauty of an alley -oop. My goodness, that was from half court. And he threw the ball at the rim perfectly for Justin Anderson to go up and get it. To Trimble, Trimble fires up a three. It's blocked by Brogdon, now scooped up by Shayok. He's off and running. He'll send it down with a two-hand slam. Is Wiley, who is out there. Here's Lehman with an unobstructed path to the basket in a one-hand slam. Kicks it out again. Shayok dribbling around his man, goes to the baseline, feeds down low to Toby, who lays it in with a foul. Anderson, a jump step in the lane, puts the shot off the back iron. No good, but he follows his own shot and taps it right back up and in. Big time play from Justin Anderson. Des Wells watching from the bench with a sling on his arm. They're leading score a year ago. Here's a pull-up jumper. Brogdon cans it as he rattles it through from the right baseline about 15 feet away. I thought we went out and we showed that we had a lot of poise and a lot of composure. Um, down the stretch, I thought we made shots. Down the stretch, I thought we, we got stops that we needed even though they got to the foul line. Um, and I thought we just held it together and uh, controlled the pace of the game for the most part. Feeds the right side. A pull up three. This is up and good. Mariel Shayok delivers from the top of the arc, and Virginia has its largest lead of the game. Parentes will dribble it now, feeding to Gill. Gill left alone. He'll power it up and kiss it in off the window. We, we told ourselves at halftime just to step on the gas, you know, and that's what we really wanted to do just go out there and play our hardest and uh, try to get this lead up, and that's what we did. Brogdon, top of the arc, feeds the right wing. Here's Evan Nolte back to Brogdon. Six to shoot, step back three. All the way and good. Malcolm Brogdon bombs away and tickles the twine to put the Hoos ahead. 70 to 56 with 3.54 to go. There was a mouse in the house, Dave. Here's Brogdon driving into the lane, kicks out top of the arc. Nolte unloads and finally finds Pater. Turfs thought they were going to get the last laugh in this one. Well, not so fast. Virginia comes back and avenges one of two ACC losses a season ago. This is the closest game we've played to 40 minutes. We kind of had good halves, but we haven't strung together maybe 30 minutes, and we're getting closer. And we need it because we could have unraveled a few times with the injuries, but the guys stuck in there. And uh, they were, I told them after the game, I said, you were enjoyable to coach tonight.